sponsored by the Box Event Center. It's not every day that a pond hockey tournament is taking place here in the Black Hills, but today was that lucky day. Many traveled from across the state and region to Iron Creek Lake this morning for the third annual Iron Creek Classic. I made the trip out to Spearfish and have more from the ice. Dozens laced up their skates and took the ice, all looking to win. We're hoping to take home a trophy today. 16 teams were back on Iron Creek Lake just south of Spearfish this year for the third annual Iron Creek Classic. We got about 18 inches of ice right here to support this. We came out here you know, over the last two weeks and just knocked it all down. We brought a Zamboni out here and ran it around and leveled this off just to, to make it happen. Weeks of prep go into a single day of play, raising money for the Northern Hill Chinook Youth Hockey Program. This game, just a little bit different than what you are used to on an indoor rink. These just are little goals. They're the same width as a normal goal, but you only have the little corners that you can, uh, you know, that you can score into. Um, the no lift in the puck. You know, keep it under your knees. No hitting. No no bumping. Just playing pond hockey. You know, these are only 48 by 96 rinks. They're short. They're small, and you just play two. I think we're doing 10 minute halves. Is what we're doing with a little break in the middle, and off we go. I live in North Dakota, and my sister lives in South Dakota, and she said, "Come play in this pond hockey tournament with us." Last year, and so we brought an all-girl team, just four gals. And we had a great time. So we're back for our second year, and it's absolutely worth the drive. For some, pond hockey is a big part of their life. My dad played, my uncles played. We all went out together, found a nearby pond, had a bunch of friends. We just all go out and uh, pass the puck around. And for others, they are just getting started. I started rollerblading, and uh, then, uh, and then I uh, got into uh, skating, and then I was like, uh, hey, I should get into hockey. So I got into hockey and uh, now look at me. No matter the skill level, it's all about enjoying each other's company and building community support while playing the game they all love. Just get the name out there, the Northern Hill Chinook, get that name so everybody knows it, knows that we're trying to do it and get it set up. There's so many sponsors out here this weekend that have been part of this. The Rush always steps up. Um, they come out and support us, bring out, I mean, you got Nugget on the ice right now playing. And that's, that's what this is all about. Staying on the ice here in Rapid City, the Rush hosted the Idaho Steelheads for Wild West night tonight. Players debuted their Canadian tuxedo jerseys as fans showed up in Western attire. It was the Steelheads who got on the board first. Ty Pelton biced up Will, Willie Neerum passing by for the goal, catching the goaltender and the cameraman off guard. It's 1-0 Idaho. The Rush had several attempts at scoring in the first period, including this shot, Keanu Yamamoto sizing up the defense before firing toward the net. His shot is stopped. It was Idaho through the first two and a half quarters. The Steelheads lead 4-1 to one in the third. To high school basketball, St. Thomas Moore is hosting the Patriots of Douglas High tonight. Catching up in the third quarter, a great offensive sequence here with the ball going to the high post. Bailey Clark connects with a cutting Coley Cruz to get the bucket plus the foul. Cruz knocks through the free throw. For the Cavaliers, Riley Gilton comes off a screen. The defense goes under and she pulls up and drains the straight away three. Anything you can do, I can do better, says Douglas's Cruz. Again, she answers back again from distance. No screens, just shallow defense. And she drills at the freshman with a big time third quarter. STM, though, too much late. The Cavs win 45 to 28.